Okay, great. Welcome, everybody. Once again, this is Brian Tarian, and thank you so much for taking some precious time out of your day to come out and listen to our presentation about the Referral Partner Program. This is a reliable way for you to work at home, um, helping individuals get or and or maximize their disability income um, and earn some money. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go through a presentation here today, and if you have any questions or I have any technical difficulties that you cannot see my screen or hear me, um, just type in the chat box, and I'll monitor that as we go forward. And then I'm also going to stop at the end and, and uh, take some questions. So um, sit back and relax. I'm going to go through in maybe 18, 20 minutes the highlights of the program, and then certainly want to hear from everybody. Um, so really want to hear your questions and your feedback about what we have going on here. So again, welcome. Okay, so a little bit about how this referral partner program works. You, you can start for free. There's no charge. Um, it's not necessary to have any prior affiliate or online experience required. That's It's just not necessary because uh, we will teach you. Um, and what you'll be doing is introducing new members to the Disability Digest, the Fibromyalgia Digest, and you'll earn a commission for helping people get approved for disability will be the majority of your commission to start with. Um, and also um, commissions on helping individuals select the most efficient or appropriate Medicare Advantage plan. And you'll also earn overrides on other products. And if you become successful at this, you'll earn overrides and other people, uh, referral partners that we will assign to you um, to teach and train and become successful in supplementing their income doing the same. So um, the concept here is for every revenue generating activity that members um, that you bring in to our uh, membership um, is what you will get paid on and we just share in those, um, in those revenues. And it's not limited to Social Security, Disability, or Medicare. There's a lot of other opportunities um, that we can work with to, to generate, um, you know, a great service for individuals and um, income for you. So I, I've been working here um, since uh, 2006. And one of the things that's been consistently apparent to me is it's been an ongoing challenge for people to find a, a reliable way for the to, to supplement their income from their home, especially if you're if you're disabled. Um, so we believe uh, that this is the answer because uh, building a membership base that pays a residual income uh, is already in place, and we've done the marketing for years, and those messages are already in place. So. Uh, we're just looking to unfrustrate you so you're not going to be biting your computer like this gal here and um, <clears throat> that uh, it'll, it'll be a, a relatively easy way for you to, to uh, supplement your income. So I, I do want to put up a warning. Um, this is, I mean, this is not a, one of those get-rich-quick schemes. Um, it's not a proven concept. Uh, I'll talk to you more specifically about that. And it's not something where somebody can come and just get a website, put it up, and figure that they're going to have a money machine. It is totally, totally not that. So if you came here today looking for that, so sorry to disappoint you, but uh, that's not what it is. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you to come in and, and work, um, work as a team with us, um, learn from others, share some of the successes that you have, um, and grow this um, community of referral partners and, and benefit from being, you know, one of the pioneers. Uh, so that's what this is. Um, really, the hard part has been done because we have the marketing message down. So I want to liken what we are trying to accomplish here to one of my favorite artists, musicians, inspirational individuals, uh, Bob Marley, and, and what he did uh, to make himself and the Whalers a, a success. So uh, Bob and the Whalers were um, from Trenchtown, Jamaica is where he moved after he grew up in Nine Miles, Jamaica. And it was a very rough area in there. Um, it was, there really, a lot of people didn't make it out. And one of the ways that he saw to make his way out 
was through music and communicating his message to others via music. So he got together with um, Peter Tosh, Bunny Whaler, and these guys would like practice and practice and practice and practice, and they got really good. Um, they got a record deal. Um, they s produced some songs that became hits. Uh, the challenge was um, he wasn't getting paid for it. He was owned by a record label, and they got paid like three pounds a week. And in addition to that, they were controlled by the record label as to what they could do with their music. They wanted them to produce a certain commercial version uh, of music, which was not, um, you know, not not what they wanted to do. So he he quit. He left, came to the states, and he hung out here for a while. And when he returned, he knew that he this this is definitely what he wanted to do, but he needed to do it differently. So he created his own record label, which is tough, tough gong. And he knew that if he had his own record label, he wouldn't be controlled by a record label. He could do what he wanted to do, produce his own music, distribute it, pay himself however much he wanted. Um, and so when they started doing that and they had the records printed, they would actually deliver the records on their bicycles. You see a picture here. Uh, real deal, they deliver them to DJs, record stores, dance halls. And they'd bring them to DJs and they'd walk into the DJ off hours when it was really, when they knew the DJ would be the only person there and they'd walk in with a baseball bat and they would demand to have their music played or they would whack the guy. And um, so this is how they get started to become a success and then people heard the music, heard the message and on they went. Now, um, if you're thinking that I'm proposing that you go out and strong, mar strong arm people with baseball bats to become <laughs> members here, uh, uh, it's not necessary and I certainly that's not what we want you to do. Um, people have been naturally attracted to this because it addresses a need in their life. So what I am proposing is that um, with this model we can break away from the traditional mold. Most of um, the activity and the money that is controlled in the disability world is controlled by uh, disability attorneys, um, and Medicare plans, um, AARP, uh, large Medicare solution plans. And so we are, our plan is to shift uh, that money with our referral partner program um, back into the hands of you, the individuals um, that are the most well connected out there, no other individuals that have like challenges and needs, um, and put it all together and blend it as a program that again can make a difference for the members and make a difference for you um, and really put a dent in these, <laughs> these other organizations, which truly excites me to do. I've been watching this for a long time, it drives me nuts. So. Um, how it works is as a referral partner, you get a, an online account, um, and in that online account, you get certain websites that you can direct um, potential members to. And those websites could be websites that are about fibromyalgia and disability, um, the disabilitydigest.com membership. Maybe somebody is just applying for disability. Um, you get you know a website like that so it's you'll learn in training that there's different topics that are most applicable if you've got uh, you know maybe you've got a support group that you're uh, involved in that's got a lot of people that have condition related issues uh, let's take fibromyalgia and they're just learning in the early diagnosis phase so those people would commonly their first phase of disability would be applying for disability so you'd want to use a website that's related to that if somebody, if you have a general interest um, audience like Don that I was chatting to earlier, um, he's got people that are going through the disability approval process and a lot of people that are already on it, then sending them to the disabilitydigest.com would be the most appropriate website um, for his members. So these are <clears throat> different things that we've learned in our marketing efforts throughout uh, the years. And prospects are everywhere. There's 54 million people in the U.S. that are uh, affected in some way by a disability, whether they have it or somebody in their family does. Um, and about three million people apply for disability each year. So the, the market is huge. Um, and, and taking the disability part out of it, if you just look at the Medicare part of it, um, which I'll get on to in a minute. I'm, I'm getting excited and off track here. But this is just a quick look into um, 
your referral partner account and you've got you know links on the left hand side in blue there that you see that you can uh, get email templates you can get the different links that you need like I, I talked about the apply for disability uh, website there's that and then there's a fibromyalgia digest so um, it tracks all of your commissions it shows you you know what your commissions are for a certain period uh, you can roll it back and look at commissions for whatever period since you started. So uh, all of the accounting and the tracking and the tools and the, all of that is in your uh, referral partner account. So let's talk about how you get paid. Um, the, I'm going to start with number two because uh, number one is, is no longer exists um, on the slide. Uh, number two is a disability approval strategy. And, and how that works is when somebody uh, registers for a membership here and is looking to get approved for disability, we have been very successful at helping over 11,000 people um, get their disability benefits faster than the national average. Um, that accounts for like $14 million a month is going into individuals' bank accounts or wherever they send their checks uh, as a result of our efforts here. So our strategy is we provide a mini course to help them apply or advance their case on their own. And we also advocate that they interview with a Social Security Disability Representative. When they complete that strategy, you get paid. Um, it's called a $20 commission. Um, and so we don't dictate whether they want to do it on their own. We don't dictate whether they want to use a Social Security Disability Representative, but there's a value in exploring our strategy and understanding both options and then choosing the, what's best for them. So we provide those options. That's our concept. And by completing that strategy, um, that triggers revenue for you. In some instances, we'll actually help these individuals um, uh, submit their application and work directly with Social Security. And if we do that, um, in addition to item two, there's item three, which is disability awards. Um, we would share with you the, the percentage of the fee that we collect from Social Security uh, for doing that work. Medicare enrollment, it's so the same concept. We provide a how-to course. Uh, they can go through and learn how to sort through the 16 plans that are in each state on average, or we can give them a phone number and they can call one of our Medicare uh, partners and, and enroll in a plan through them. It, it, there's no charge for using the uh, specialist. Uh, um, they're paid for by the Medicare insurance companies, so individuals are always like, oh, I'll, I'll take the easy way out. Give me the phone number. Um, and so, but we do provide both options. That's our strategy here. We want individuals to understand how to do it on their own, at least understand the basics of each situation and then um, what they can do to go on. So um, other ways in which you can make money, if you become successful at this, then we would be delighted to, to assign new referral partners to you. And you can teach them exactly what you've learned to do to become successful, um, how to go out and generate uh, new members, and we would pay you an override on that. Um, we have a profit sharing pool where we take a percentage of the, uh, all of the earnings that are generated um, and we put it in a pool and it's paid out quarterly and um, all referral partners uh, can participate in this pool um, and the reason why we do this is there's a lot to be learned from each other here um, and so we wanted to create an environment where we would encourage people with an incentive to share um, you know what might be working and uh, Des Moines, Iowa uh, could work over here in Vermont and if we've got a team in place, this referral partner team that is collaborating together um, with the understanding that they're not creating their own competition, they've actually got this pool of money that, that they would share in their success. Um, so it, that's the reason why we uh, put the, the profit uh, uh, referral partner a profit pool in place. So um, excited to see those checks go out the door. So we talked about the disability approval strategy, uh, counts for 11,000 people or they're about getting, getting approved, over $14 million um, in bank accounts. Uh, we help people, usually it's like 10, 11 months faster that they get approved um, using this strategy. Um, Medicare, I want to talk a little bit more about Medicare and where the opportunities are. 
um, the, with, with Medicare, there is um, two different two different opportunities that really talks about the market, which I've already touched on. Um, there is an open enrollment period for Medicare, which for anybody that's on Medicare, it is the only time during the year that you can change your plan. Forty percent of the people change their plan on an annual basis according to Medicare Solutions. And the reason for that is um, there's so many variables in the Medicare landscape that the plans can change in price because your condition changes. Um, there could be drugs that are covered on a Medicare Advantage plan that you had that maybe those drugs, uh, there's a generic option or the price changed or um, maybe you acquired another condition or you had a condition that become, became less severe that required medication. There's so many variables. So what we just encourage people to do is just like any other insurance, you should review it on an annual basis during this October 15th to December 7th period. And if your plan is the right plan, then keep it. If it's not and you can get a better plan for less money, it's pretty much a no-brainer. You should change. Um, so that's the one opportunity. So how that would work is if you have a member that you brought in and they go through open enrollment and they change their Advantage plan with one of our partners, then you would receive commission on that. Um, second opportunity is for people that go through the disability approval process. And once you're approved for your Social Security disability, you then um, are Medicare eligible uh, in 24 months. And that's 24 months from the onset date, not from when you get approved. So from the date that you are able to prove that you were uh, disabled, then you can, um, I just want to check my uh, go to meeting here to make sure that I'm able to, there's any questions, you're able to get involved. Okay, I was just checking to see if there's any urgent questions here. So 24 months from the date that you are approved that you're disabled is when you can uh, get on your, uh, on your Medicare. And so when people go through and they get on Medicare, it, it's common that they get a Medicare Advantage plan. And the reason why is it usually saves them money on their prescriptions and it allows them to keep the same doctor. Those are the two key benefits. So if, with thinking about Medicare before I get on to this, it's not limited to people that are on disability or going through the disability approval process. The Medicare opportunity is for anybody that is on Medicare, which could be over 62, uh, taking their Social Security disability. Okay. I'll talk uh, real quickly about where to find members, offline and online. Uh, one of the most effective ways to find uh, new members is to just get out and volunteer. Uh, volunteer at your church or food shelves or, um, you know, maybe at uh, charity dinners or whatever it is, um, and so that you can get out there and meet people and position yourself as a disability advocate. Um, you know, people are going to ask you what you do and say, I help people get or maximize their disability benefits. If you know anybody I can help, uh, you know, I'd love to talk to them. Um, and that's really all you need to do and then from there we'll teach you what you, you know, in training you can just grab their phone number or get their email address or talk to them on the phone and they, you can sign them up or you can send them an email. There's different ways to get the actual logistics taken care of from there. Um, presentation for organizations, um, you know, you have a, a disability presentation topic, maybe 10, 12 minutes long that talks about the services that we provide that are in our members area and how we help or get people maximize their disability benefits. Um, and this is a great way to get out there, um, you know, a Chamber of Commerce or uh, other organizations that are looking for people to, to, to speak to. Uh, support groups, great opportunities. You come in and, and talk to people about, um, you know, how a membership can make a difference for them. So there's all kinds of ways to get out in your local community. I mean, I live in very rural Vermont, but if, you know, if I, if I looked at like a 30-minute driving range around my house, there's, there's just, there, there's enough members here to keep me busy. Um, 
where to find members online. This, this slide is very plain and, and blasé because it could be on forever. And that's where we found our members for years and likely most of you are here because uh, you found us online. But there's different conditions, specific groups um, from ADD, fibromyalgia, MSAA, um, that, you know, they're there to support other individuals. These are great, maybe you're already a member of them, um, a great opportunity to get involved um, and share with people what you do. And, um, you know, sometimes these groups don't want people promoting, but if they know what you do and how you can help, they'll reach out to you and we can teach you ways in which if you're doing this through Facebook and you're active and posting different information that we already have, um, you know, daily, weekly, monthly about disability, disability topics um, on your Facebook page, then you'll create your own audience. Um, posting advertising, um, you know, again, uh, Craigslist is a, is a great way to do it. You can post in local support organizations, um, a disability advocate or disability advocate group. Um, we have ads that you can use that are effective. So there's, there's different ways that uh, you can do that. Sorry for the interruption on my screen here, folks. There we go. We're back. Um, I just want to talk about Facebook for a minute because I know Facebook is just loaded with members and they're really easy to find because we attract members from there every day and have for years. Um, it's 155 million people on Facebook. This is just a screenshot of the daily enrollment um, that we had, and there's only a few on here, but, you know, some days there's up to 30 people that uh, find us uh, through uh, Facebook. So it's a very effective way to do it. Um, so point is, is we know that there's members out there, so how would you find them? You know, you can, again, be a member of groups. You can post consistent information on your Facebook page and create your own group on a specific topic. Um, you can, you know, reverse engineer it and search. If you type in the search bar uh, topics like applying for disability, denied disability, uh, disability housing, disability jobs, uh, disabled jobs, different topics like that, um, you'll see on a daily basis what's going on in different groups for conversations or what maybe individuals are posting on their Facebook page. Um, which, you know, people may post, oh, I think I'm going to have to apply for disability. Jeez, I got denied for disability. How do I get started with my disability? These topics are all out there. Um, and so you can contact them and reach out to them and say, hey, man, I can help you out. I'm a disability advocate. I help people get or maximize their disability income. So finding members is really like shooting fish in a barrel. It's, it's, that's not the challenge. It's just, um, it's just reaching out to them um, and, and putting the action uh, in place. So, if you look at this, I had another slide kicking around here. Let me see if I can find it. I want to go through uh, kind of an income breakdown with you before I come back to that. If we look at the twenty to two hundred dollars for getting people through the disability approval process, I'm just going to concentrate on uh, that for a moment. If you refer ten members that are going through the disability approval process, it's likely that that'll generate, you know. Uh, conservatively $90 in income. Um, and that's $110 a month, that's $1,300 a year. And, you know, that's a very conservative example. If you, I mean, we know how many people are out there, I just told you, if you did 30 a month or, you know, it's basically one a day that you found that's going through the process, then you're looking at around $4,000 a year. Um, and that's not including, you know, if you get that good at this, you, you, we would love to have you help and teach and train other referral partners, the other income possibilities, and the uh, profit pool that we put in place. It's just a general example that I wanted to give you based on um, what I truly believe can be done for individuals that come in here and, and apply themselves. So, um, okay. Um, I just want to recap here. Your money and the work that you do here makes a difference. Certainly, I'm sure you would appreciate a few extra bucks in your pocket, but 
what you're doing is helping people get or maximize their disability benefits uh, really fast, um, and we have all the information in place to do that. And, and the key thing with our business is the more members we have, the more sponsors we can attract. Um, and the more sponsors we attract, the more money we have to work with, which means the better services that we can provide, uh, the better courses, the better information, you know, or, uh, webinars, all of that, and the more jobs, uh, and the more money we can pay to referral partners like you. So this business is mostly run by um, members of this website. We have various positions other than these. Uh, that are done that way. So um, I just, again, wanted to emphasize what our ambition is here to create and control our own economy um, so that we can, you know, increase our revenue, increase our margins, and make more of a difference uh, with the funds that we generate. So I um, just want to recap. You can start for free. Uh, you don't really need any prior experience uh, that's out there. Uh, you'll get paid for all of the actions that take place with the members that you send in here. Disability approval process, Medicare, other stuff. I've got a misspelled word in here. Um, and you receive overrides on others that you work with. So that's the concept here. A um, few things I want to cover with you before we wrap up. Um, and, and then I'm going to share with you, and I'll put in the... Um, chat, I'll put in the, the page to apply, but there's a few things that I want to clearly communicate to you, because you're going to be asked this again before we actually enroll you as a referral partner, is it's important that you clearly understand how to generate members and a plan what you would do to generate new members. Um, if, you go through the dis if you go through this application process and it's not clear to you that you, we generate members offline, and how we generate members online, um, it's going to be, it's not likely that you'll be appro approved. And the reason for that is we want to make sure that you understand what needs to be done and are fully prepared to go out and do it so that we can make this a success for you um, and for us and for the members. For support, this effort is supported by a Facebook group. That is the primary place where you go, you ask your questions, you get your questions answered. And the reason why we've set it up this way and we put the profit pool in there is so that people can communicate and learn from each other um, in a team atmosphere. If you lose your password and contact us, we're not going to help you find it. There is one website link that uh, you have that you can go and get it when you get your password. Um, just make sure that you print it off and put it in a safe place and make sure the dog doesn't eat it. This is, was the biggest problem that we had before uh, with our referral partner program. So we've really simplified it. Um, the same website where you get your password and that email has one website on it where you can go and to get it back uh, and get it. Um, Getting paid. Anytime you get a check of $100 or more, it's get paid out in that month. The uh, profit pool gets paid out quarterly. Um, you get paid via PayPal uh, right now. Uh, that is the only way that we distribute funds. If you don't have a PayPal account, they are free, super easy to set up. Um, and so that's, that's, how we, that's how we distribute funds. Um, I, I am going to put in the chat feature here, which is on the GoToMeeting software, I just put a website link in there. You can double click on that and that'll bring you to the application page. Um, so what I'd like to do right now um, is I just want to, I'd like to take any questions that people have. Um, let me see here. And if you've got a question, the best way to do it that I would prefer, so there's a hand raising feature on the GoToMeeting software. You just raise your hand, um, and then I'll unmute you, and you can chat. If you don't have your, you know, if you didn't dial it with your phone or have your internet connected, then just put it in the chat feature, and I will uh, read the message here. I don't see that there's any in here right now. Um, so, you know, and while we're doing that, Don, if you don't mind me putting you on the spot again, are you still out there? 
Yeah, still here. Very good presentation. Thanks. Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Don has um, been one of the pioneers in the referral partner program and has used it kind of through our testing period. So um, w would you mind sharing a few words with the others about what your, what your experience has been, Don? Yeah, happy to do that, Brian. Um, you know, I've been involved in it uh, for a few years, and um, oh, hang on a sec. Okay, a lot of action all at the same time here. Perfect. Uh, yeah, uh, we've been involved in it uh, for quite some time, and one of the reasons that uh, we were attracted to it is that. Uh, here at AbilityMission.org, our objectives, our mission is very close to what uh, Disability Digest is doing. And uh, it makes it so easy for us to refer people over to you because we know that uh, they're going to get something out of it. So it's, um, it, it's been a good program for us. We've made uh, hundreds of dollars on it. And uh, the people that we've referred have, uh, like at AbilityMission.org, they get their services for free at uh, Disability Digest. And it works on the same basis. Uh, the, the websites are supported by advertising. So it's all around, it's good. It's really, really good. So good program. Bro. Great. Thank you, Don. So I see a question has come up here uh, from Edie. And uh, it's, it's the famous, how much money can I make um, and not lose my benefits, uh, which I'm always delighted to, to answer. Um, what's the second, Don? I'm going to mute this back up here. Thanks again, Don. So here's how it works with, um, with Social Security. And this is all covered in our members area that I'm going to right now. You can earn up to 700. I think it just changed from 770 to 790 a month, um, and you, you and do absolutely nothing. You don't need to do anything. It doesn't have any impact on your benefits. If you get over that, then um, you may want to consider using some of your trial work periods or forming a corporation or anything like that. But in Section 2 in the members area here, I'd come in and read that so that you understand um, 780 now is what it is. Um, so, I mean, you can earn close to $10,000 and not have to do anything. Now, oh, here's the other thing. Uh, when you start working um, as a referral partner, you're officially in your own home-based business, and maybe you are already, I don't know. But if you're not, then what that allows you to do is to take advantage of the of tax deductions. Um, and so your computer, your cell phone, or anything that you use to, you know, work or generate business now becomes a tax deduction. And so when they say the 700 and, what was it I said, 780? 780. Well, when they say 780, that's 780 in net income. That's after your expenses. Um, so, um, oh, and then there's an impairment related work expenses. There's a whole bunch of things, but it's all covered in this section two um, in those courses in the uh, members area. Um, okay, Tamara wants me to review the uh, password. Um, retreat. So um, when we when we send you your username and password, there is. Let me show you here. Um, I'm just going to another website where I can show you. Um, okay. You are you are given a website like this. I'm going to put it right in here as start of the, of the effort to have you not forget where to log in. So you're given this website right here, and you're given your username and your password. Um, and so we just ask that you 
hold on to that um, because if you lose it, it's it was just a big problem in the past. We had people that were losing their username and password like once a week, and it just it created so much extra work for our support desk that it was really one of the reasons why we took down the prior um, a program that we had and we revised it to come out with this one. So I'm just saying that we're not going to support your if you're going to lose your username or password. There'll be instructions in our Facebook support group um, that you have access to when you become a referral partner that will show you how to recoup it, um, but we're, it's not something that we're going to support the email. Um, let's see. I was wondering, do they ever reduce disability benefits ever by doing disability digest? Mm, not real clear. Are you talking about your disability income reducing because you're earning money? It just, oh, you are. Okay. Yeah, no, so the only, the only time, if you're under the $750 a month, nothing happens. If you're over that, um, then there's strategies to form a corporation and have a check that's paid to you from your corporation because the check that comes to you is what Social Security looks at. And it's all totally legal. There's trial work months that you can use. If you're going to be making like forty or fifty thousand dollars a year, uh, it's a dead ringer. You're going to be off benefits. Um, and so how that works is they give you a trial work period, which you can learn about in the members area. Um, and you can go out and you can try to work. Uh, and this would be considered that if your income got that high. And let's say that your income was up there for a little while and then it stopped. Uh, you can go back on benefits. So We have people that are not on disability or disabled. Well, like Don that you just met. Don runs a website. Um, he's not on disability. Um, and they would be, and actually I have uh, doctors um, and treatment facilities here in the Burlington area that are also referral partners, um, which is not something that I get into uh, in detail today, but they're great referral partners because they have people that are coming through um, their business that go on disability. As you may know, you have a doctor that most of you are expecting seeing, or hopefully you are. <clears throat> and um, it makes it easy for them because it's one place where they can send them. It's a trusted resource, and it takes the burden off of their office staff to work on and explain the disability process. Plus, we pay them as a referral part. So uh, people do not have to be on disability. Uh, veterans benefits, we do have a veterans benefit um, site. We do not have that as a component of the referral partner program. Got some good questions. Let's see what else here. Did I miss any questions? Is there anything else? No? All right. Okay. Great. Well, listen, in closing, I put the link up where you can go and apply. Um, page, whoops, that's not it. It's over here. Um, it looks like this. Got a video at the top. Um, come down. Make sure that you, you give careful consideration to what needs to go in the text box. Um, because we want to know the four questions that you'll be asked, so if you can answer some of those in advance, which is where you're going to get referral partners, what you do with the password, when you get paid, where the support is, those things, um, then that would be great. So, uh, listen, uh, thanks once again for your interest in coming out here um, and the referral partner. We're excited to make this work and work with you. We hope it's a good fit, and um, we look forward to having you join us. So. Uh, thanks again. This has been Brian Terry, and make it a great day, everybody.